I wanted to make a video about recent events, the killing of George Floyd, and also the protests that followed and that are still going on at the time of this recording. If you've seen the video, you know the way in which he was killed was horrific and terrible and should have never happened to anyone. And if this type of evidence of a killing uh, was available and the perpetrator were an average civilian, he would have been hopefully arrested immediately. But uh, because he was a police officer, he was not arrested until after the protesting had started. Uh, he was not immediately taken into custody, even though that video was available. And at the time of filming this, the three other officers involved have not been taken into custody. And I, and, and I will say what you've probably heard a lot of others say, and that is that the other three officers involved should immediately be taken into custody as well and prosecuted so that we can get justice for this. Um, but obviously this is not an isolated incident. You had not long ago a man uh, accosted by two white men with shotguns and killed for jogging uh, in a neighborhood. And that's it. That's all he was doing. He was jogging and he was black and that was it. And this is just the recent stuff. You don't have to look back much farther to find other similar incidents. So now the protests that are taking place in Los Angeles, in this city, in, in cities across the country are a way of people saying that, you know, justice, A, justice needs to be served in the most recent case of George Floyd. The other three police need to be arrested, prosecuted, and also it's become increasingly clear based on how they've dealt with this past incidents and now the ongoing protests that changes need to be made uh, of police protocol, of how, how the police interact with civilians in general, um, how they interact with, you know, black and minority civilians. It's no secret that black people are pulled over, harassed, arrested disproportionately by police, and that if they do wind up before a judge, that a judge is more likely to hand out a harsher sentence if, they, if the defendant is black. So things do need to change, and a lot of people are looking for ways to affect that change. Protesting, great place to start. No arrests were made until the protests started, uh, which is very telling. Uh, so peaceful protests, good way to start. Obviously, I don't uh, advocate, you know, violence or, you know, there's a lot of businesses out there getting hit right now by um, just opportunists. And by the way, um, the fact that there are people taking advantage of this um, is not grounds for just writing off all protests as they're all rioting. Um, if you watch any of the news, there are very clearly... Uh, you know, peaceful protests taking place, and then people out uh, to take advantage. They're very much two separate groups. There was even footage of, of protesters handing over someone who was destroying property to police, uh, which I think is a good sign. But there's been other footage of the way police have been acting that it shows that, that reform definitely needs to happen within their ranks. There's been uh, gas fired at people for being on their porches during curfew. There was someone who had their mask pulled down and pepper spray sprayed at them. A reporter uh, lost an eye uh, to police using, I believe, rubber bullets. These kinds of things should not be happening, especially to deal with uh, protesters who are not an immediate threat. None of the, th the three incidents I just mentioned had uh, a protester posing an immediate threat to police. So um, another thing you can do is document, share on social media. Uh, this stuff, a lot of people are already doing that already and have been very good about it, but just make sure this stuff is seen and it doesn't disappear. The ACLU has an app uh, called Mobile Justice that can quickly allow you to witness a situation or film and record and then send it immediately to their servers uh, where it can be stored so that your phone cannot be destroyed, uh, that, that evidence cannot be removed if it makes it to the servers, um, which I think is a great idea. And in an effort to look for what I can do, I will be streaming today for the ACLU. All donations will go to the ACLU, and I will be matching any donations made up to $300 and donating that, because uh, I think the work they do is important. I, I kind of looked around. There are also, there's other ways to donate um, if you feel more comfortable. There's, uh, there's protester bailout funds. There's obviously a, a GoFundMe for George Floyd's family, and I'll, I'll list all those in the description. The kind of the last thing I wanted to talk about was was register to vote. It's very important, but beyond registering, vote in people who have taken notice of this situation and vow to make changes who have a record of fighting against racism, discrimination, police brutality. These are the people we need in office, especially, especially if you live in a battleground or swing state. Um, your vote matters so, so much. I don't know that I have anything else to say on this. 
Uh, except, you know, I don't want my son to grow up in a world where he's discriminated against for his skin color, where people treat him differently with prejudices. Just based on that, that's so incredibly fucked up. It's 2020 and that this level of racism still exists is mind-blowing. He's young now, but like I have no idea how to explain it's, this to him if he was a little bit older and watching this on TV. Anyway, that's it. If you are protesting, uh, stay safe. And uh, yeah, that's all I got right now.